Hi, Sir. Hey, I'm sorry to hear you're having problems, but you know, keep in mind, there's, you know, it is error-free. It does work the way it's supposed to with the editor that it's supposed to. It's Expression Web 4. Um, outdated front page components, they still work. You can, just because they're old doesn't mean they don't work. Okay, anyways, I'm not going to argue with that on, a, on that point. Um, because you, obviously you seem frustrated and you're looking for a solution. But the, the answer is in how you are embedding your ASPX files, your include files. And I'll show you right now. Right, you're in loading in directly from the library, the slider, for example, and the default, say the full screen slider. You're loading this page in directly, okay? And that's fine and dandy, except that as an include page using the web bot, it requires a body tag in each of the includes. Well, guess what? If you're going to use an ASP include, you have to remove those body tags. So you just have to go into the page that you're loading in, get rid of that. And go on down and then get rid of that in each of your includes and I'll show you where I figured that out. I'm going to go into my view source here for a second, right? I mean the simple thing to do, I use um, Firefox for this, right, to sort of debug and whatnot. So I open the page up and immediately something screams out in red which usually says, hey there's something wrong with the code, right? And as I scroll on down I start seeing different copies of body tags and I realized well yes in your ticket you put in basically your ASP uh, include file which is this right here so it's loading this page in directly which is the full screen slider right but keep in mind this page itself is an include page designed for the web bot component if you want to use an ASPX include you just need to modify this slightly by getting rid of the opening and the closing body tag of each of your include pages, right? And then now you have just simple code that ASPX is pulling in directly. Okay, so that's all you have to do, quick solution, right? And then you don't have the body tag showing up a million times in the page because that's what's happening. With um, the uh, with Expression Web 4, using the web bots, those body tags are removed. If you're using ASPX as an include, then they're not. So give that a shot.